back inside the Evan Rude Center. We'll get back to the Lakers game shortly, but we got a special guest beside me, Regan from Team Kenya joining us. We've spent a couple days together. I'm gonna say again though, welcome to Canada. How's your experience been? Thank you so much. Uh, Canada is really a lovely place. The people here are so kind and are peaceful. Yeah, they always treat people the same way, like it's really amazing. So you're quite the lacrosse player. You play yourself, you coach, and you got to get out on the floor with the Lakers for warm-up. Talk about what that was like. Yeah, uh, really, let me talk about the game first. The game really was uh, an incredible game. It was like one in a million because uh, it's my first time like stepping on a box lacrosse field, first time playing like, like box lacrosse, so it was really amazing. A lot to learn and uh, just uh, I've already, like you always have to wish uh, like your friend first before you, yeah, which makes everything just incredible. Oh, it's very cool. You have a busy lacrosse schedule. You coach Uganda, you coach Kenya. They're 12 hours apart. How do you do that kind of schedule? That is busy. Yeah, it's, it's really busy, but at some point it also depends on the people that you're working with and the kind of person that you are. Because if you're really a good person, then people will like, want you to help them. And uh, it really takes uh, a lot as well, because you also need to work really hard for all of that. So it's just like you, you, you need to strategically plan your schedules and, and be the best person that you can be. So opening ceremonies were last night. What was that experience like? Wow, it was uh, so, so fantastic. Because uh, we, we had uh, a lot of cheers from uh, the supporters we didn't expect. And uh, yeah, it was uh, at some point, uh, it was a new experience to us experiencing it for the first time and it was uh, a motivation at first point yeah like before the games were really motivated then when we get into the games then it will really be mega but yeah very cool the last thing i'm gonna ask you you've spent a few days almost a week in canada now what are your thoughts on canada when you go home and someone asked you what is canada like what will you say one i'll start with uh, the kindness of the people of canada because uh, we have really uh been uh, welcomed so my people are so kind here and uh, helpful every time like very very helpful uh, we have really uh, got like a lot of help like in terms of uh, donations for for helping like uh, growing up the sport in uh, Kenya yeah so that's uh, like that's something big that's rare down there in Africa like being people being kind is really rare so I think that's the key thing that I first saw in people here well, speaking of kind, our producers in the truck, they put together a little gift bag for you. I'm just going to grab it. So this is from our crew. There's a few things in there, some hats, some shirts, and a few things to take home. And we appreciate you coming on with us, and best of luck in the tournament. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Hope to see you guys uh, watch us play and uh, support us. Thank you so much. Absolutely, we will. Thank you for your time. That is Regan from Kenya. They play tomorrow. The full schedule for the U19 World Lacrosse Championships can be found online, so make sure you check out Team Kenya and the 22 countries who are here in Peterborough for the next week. We're going to take a quick break, but stay tuned. We've got the second period, Lakers versus Oakville, coming up next. You're watching the MSL tonight on your TV.